Hey guys, welcome back to Ganji Plans. Uh, this video is filmed well in advance. Um, you guys will know <laughs> whether by the time this video goes out I have a baby yet or not. Um, hopefully yes, I really would love to have a baby at 39 weeks this time. Um, partially because my husband has a May birthday and uh, would be jealous. There's just too many things going on in May, um, which you will see as we do some of this planning. Um, but we'll, you know, it's okay. We'll love our son regardless. We're doing some planning ahead. Um, I, a couple weeks ago, probably had a video go up of planning my weeks ahead. Um, and so this is the months, you know, like, yeah, <laughs> I'm doing this in advance. So it's going to be ready to go. Um, I, as I am, you know, moving into May will be in a bit of a postpartum fog, hopefully either that or just like over being pregnant and ready to just do anything else. So, uh, we're having this all set to go. Let me see. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to do as little editing on this one as possible. So you get to see the entire process. Here it is. I'm looking for this set of month stickers from Mad Hatter. May. Uh, this is insert 64 on the left and oof, I always forget. This is the undated monthly that's like the first one from my shop. So it's in like the maybe 20s or, or less. I forget. Um, if I remember, maybe I'll, I'll put that in the, comp the description or something, but probably will forget. Um, and so you can remind me or ask me and I will get to it whenever I do. Um, whatever that is. So let's see, let's highlight weekends. The first is a Sunday and then we've got seven, eight. Oh, I know I should actually put my little calendar here so I don't have to keep flipping. Seven, eight. All right, let's do that first. Numbers. So yes, one is a Sunday over here. I always do Sunday starts for my little grids. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My um, tip for, I don't know, doing calendars more quickly, if you need to figure out where you're ending up, is you can count by sevens down the sevens column, you know, 14, 21, 28. And then pay attention as you go around to 29, 30, and in this case, 31, um, so that you don't get that messed up. And then you still have to backfill the rest of these weeks, which I will do very carefully. Yeah, I thought for a second I'd already messed up. I have been known to mess up while talking, but I'm risking it so that I don't have to edit this video as much. Um, I just today finished filming the weeks in advance video and I know that has a lot of like um, speeding up which means a lot of music. This one is just gonna be pretty low-key so go grab a cup of coffee or OC. Oh, I skipped 25. Go grab uh, something to drink or do something productive. Wow, that's a mess. All right, you know what? I am going to be a mess at the beginning of May. Uh, let's see. So we've got 14, 15 is a weekend. And 28, oh, 21, 22. And 28, 29. Um, if you are wondering whether I have a baby or not, I will post something in the community tab when he comes. Um, so check over there and then you can know whether to post your condolences or congratulations in the comments. Um, I think just put a little, yeah, why not? Why not highlight? So this is the habit tracker and honestly, I actually have no plans for the habit tracker for May. Um, we'll see. <laughs> it might be something, maybe tummy time. I should put tummy time on here. Um, the latest I could possibly go over do is probably you know, somewhere around this weekend. Um, I can try to talk them into 
not cutting them out of me if he goes that long. Um, let's see. Also, like, do I need goals for this month? I was going to put, um, I had put little boxes here for goals for April, but like I had goals for April. I'm trying to keep things extremely low key for May. So I'm just going to fill these in with color and it's pretty. And maybe I will put either some highlights from the month if I think about it or some goals or mindsets or affirmations or something if it comes to me. Um, so that's basically that side done. Maybe I should just toss a little bit of cute washi tape like this one down there. Um, I mentioned in that video from, I, I want to say two weeks ago that I just filmed today, um, that the reason I'm picking green as our color scheme for May is because, uh, it's our anniversary month and green, sage green specifically was our wedding color. So there you go. There you go. That's that side. Um, this side I will also, I think, do a little bit of washi because you can. Why not? And then I just need a little to-do sticker at the top of that header. Then we get down to the actual, like, content stuff that we're planning like, actual things happening. Okay. Uh, said to do sticker. Uh, this one. There we go. Right here. Um, I've been doing um like date specific event or yeah date specific tasks on the left and time specific tasks or no non date specific tasks on the right. Um, that's just been how it's been working the last couple months of using this insert. So that's what I'm going to do again, probably continue to do that way. Um, let's pull out my future log. I'm realizing my, uh, my planner is getting a little bit chunky. I have so much in here getting ready. So here's May. Oh, May is the month that has so much going on that it spills over into the, um, the additional section here on my future log insert, which is 54 in the shop. So let's see, yeah, May 30th off. Yeah, clearly, um, definitely, but that is Memorial Day, so um, I should just label it because hopefully that will matter. My husband is working on getting a new job. So even though I won't have like a day off work because I will be on maternity leave, he hopefully will. Um, let's see, Festival of Faith. That's a thing that we will see if we are feeling up to. It's like a kids program at a local. Um, church-based thing. Okay, Brewfest. All right, this is our anniversary. Brewfest is happening in the evening. It's a fundraiser for the school, and I am so excited. I'm absolutely not going to be pregnant by then, um, and so we totally want to go because that's actually our anniversary date, um, and so yeah, that's how we're going to celebrate. Uh, Muffins with Mom is... I just put muffins is a little event at school and then also is in the afternoon is root beer fest so it's gonna say muffins slash root beer <laughs> it's happening that day and hopefully I will be feeling up to stuff this mostly it's all just like school events right so the May crowning this is a Marian thing if you're not Catholic. Uh, it's, yeah, M May is the month of Mary. And then the 21st, oh, is the baptism. And I already put something there. That's the baptism. Um, 
yeah, I don't know if we'll feel up to both things at once. I'm going to put a big star here. And then over here put that. <laughs> Makes it seem like an afterthought. We are trying to get our, all of our ducks in a row ahead of time so that we can have a baptism in May and not have to wait an extra month. All right, so that is, seems to be all of the events. Um, I'm gonna pull out the school calendar here off camera and check if there's any days off. Yes, so Memorial Day has no school also, so that's also important. Of course it does have no school. Um, oh yeah, okay, I can put Mother's Day. That's useful, that's the eighth. Definitely going to be feeling like a mother. And then obviously need to put Gino's birthday. Day. This green pen is really skippy. Not super big fan. All right. I think I have birthdays list. Anybody else's birthdays I need to know about? Our anniversary. Oh, okay. My little cousin. Um, I mean, I say little. He's not that little. He was born in 2012. Uh, so his birthday is here, but I don't think I'm going to mark it on my calendar. It'll pop up on Facebook and I'll just like comment. Um, I think that's pretty much it. There are things in my, like this guy, the recurring tasks and all of that, which I think is really going to be part of my setup um, and like week ahead planning. I definitely will have at least enough time to sit down and like jot, excuse me, jot down a couple of things for my week ahead of time. Um, and so as I move into the new month, I, uh, I will make a point of like moving these tasks around and, and stuff like that. Oh, I'm due to change my toothbrush two days before, three days before my due date. I think that's going to happen. We will see. Some of these have to go into April and that I can do now um, because I'm filming this in like mid March. It's, you know, what? it's mid to late March right now. Um, yeah, time, time is flying. I have a week and a half left of work. Um, very excited for that and all the things that I'll get to be doing. Um, check out like my April, oh, I was going to say plan with me, April f video, <laughs> uh, because I accidentally forgot to film the plan with me portion, but I explained it all in that video, how, um, I was going to be using that time. This here, I can just put a little header stripe. I needed to put something on the back. And so I figured why not just some lined paper and I can use it for notes or something, maybe. I never really know what to put on the back. If you were me, and this was, say, like, not an abnormal month, um, what would you put on the back? I have experimented with putting, like, the uh, currently dashboard, which is, like, what are you reading, watching, listening to? I've put the, um, the monthly review, which is, like, you know, how did it go and what could you do better? Um, and then I never use the... <laughs> So that's the problem is I need to figure out what goes well on the back. On the back of April, I have like package tracking because it's something. Um, maybe I should just leave it blank, but leave them in the comments uh, if you want to answer a question. That's my question to you is what would you put on the back of this monthly conglomeration? Um, again, a reminder that this guy is free on my website, ganjiplans.com slash shop. These are called Month at a Glance Dashboards. Um, and they're free, uh, available for all of 2022. So enjoy that if you have not already downloaded them and started using them. And then that's pretty much it. Um, I will continue to be making videos and hopefully have one out every Thursday for you. Um, and I'll be posting on the community tab and maybe over on Instagram if I am feeling up to it as well. So keep uh, following me over there and over here and I will see you guys, keep you guys uh, informed and we will continue to have videos available for you to enjoy. Happy planning. See you in the next one. Bye.